This map shows some of the important volcanoes of the world. They are Mount Tambora and Krakatoa in Indonesia, Mount Pinatabu in Philippines, Mount Fujiyama in Japan, and Mount St. Helens in United States. So these are some of the important volcanoes in the Pacific region. Now, if you carefully look at this map, you will find that all these volcanoes are located at the intersection point of different tectonic plates. And why so? This is because while discussing the formation of volcanoes, I mentioned that volcanoes are formed due to collision of tectonic plates. So when tectonic plates of unequal densities collide, they form cracks on the earth's surface and magma comes out through these cracks. Thus, volcanoes are closely associated with movement of tectonic plates. And therefore, the important volcanoes of the world are located at the plate boundaries. As we can see from this map, Mount Tambora and Krakatoa are situated at the boundaries of Eurasian plate and Indo-Australian plate. Again, Mount St. Helens is located at the plate boundary of North American plate and Pacific plate. Similarly, other volcanoes are also located at some plate boundaries. So from this map, we can understand that thus volcanoes and movement of tectonic plates are closely related. Now, this region encompassing the Pacific Ocean is called the Pacific Ring of Fire. It is a belt of volcanoes that extends from the western coast of South America and further spreads to the western coast of North America, then to Japan, Philippines, Indonesia and finally ends at New Zealand. This region consists of approximately 75% of active and dormant volcanoes of the world. Thus, this region that is the Pacific Ring of Fire is a volcanic prone region of the world. Now, before we move on, let us try to answer this. Pacific Ring of Fire is a region encompassing the Indian Ocean, Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean or Arctic Ocean. The correct answer is Pacific Ocean. In the previous slide, we read about an important volcanic region that is the Pacific Ring of Fire. Here we have other important volcanic regions of the world. And this is the place in the Mid-Atlantic region. And here the volcanoes erupt due to divergence between the Eurasian plate and North American plate and African plate and South American plate. Mount Vesuvius and Mount Stromboli are important volcanoes found in this region. Mount Kilimanjaro is also an important volcano of this region. Other important volcanic regions of Mid-Atlantic Ridge are Canary Islands and Iceland. Here volcanoes erupt frequently due to divergence between Eurasian plate and North American plate and African plate and South American plate. Mount Tambora situated in Indonesia erupted on April 1815. Historians regard it as the deadliest volcanic eruptions in human history. The blast was so powerful that it took away more than 9000 lives. In fact, it also resulted in complete change of climatic conditions. In fact, the faraway countries of North America experienced a year without summer. The volcanic ashes created a dense cloud cover and kept the weather cold. This resulted in crop failure and famine broke out. So from this case study we can understand that natural calamities like volcanoes can be very disastrous. So in the previous slide we saw that Tambora volcanic eruption was very destructive. In this picture we can see the devastations caused by a volcano. The hot flowing lava engulfs houses and can burn animals, human beings and 
forest. Volcanoes can also trigger other natural calamities like mudslides, earthquakes, tsunamis, which adds on to the misery of the people. In fact, the volcanic gases released during a volcanic eruptions are very poisonous and can cause health hazards. So, volcanoes are very destructive. In the previous slides, we read that volcanoes are very destructive. However, this is not true always because volcanoes can be beneficial too. Volcanic ashes released during volcano increases soil fertility because they add nutrients and minerals to the soil. In fact, black soil formed due to denudation of volcanic mountains are very good for growing crops. Volcanoes bring out important minerals from the earth's interior. Some of the important minerals are copper, quartz, gold, zinc, lead, silicon, etc. So, we can obtain these important minerals directly or indirectly from volcanoes. Geothermal power plants are constructed in volcano prone regions to harness geothermal energy. Now the word geo means earth and thermal means heat. So the word geothermal means the heat that comes from the earth's interior. And how can we harness this? From this geothermal power plant. Thus, volcanoes provides us with a non-conventional source of energy that is geothermal energy. Geyser and hot springs are also found in volcano prone regions. They are formed when underground water gets heated up if they are in close contact with magma. Now, these places where geysers and hot springs are found are major tourist attractions. Apart from that, they have high medicinal value and can treat skin infections like rashes and eczema. So, in this video, we studied about distribution of volcanoes. We saw that a major volcanic region of the world is the Pacific Ring of Fire. Apart from that, volcanoes are also found in the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Finally, we studied about various importance of volcano. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one-to-one -one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5,000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step-by-step -step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubt resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now